Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to discuss different ways to iterate over an array list. So in order to demonstrate this, let's create a class. So go to our project, go to package, right click on it new and then choose Java class. Let's give class name as iterating over array list example. Within this class, let's create a main method. And here let me list out the different ways that we are going to use to iterate over an array list. So we are going to see how to use a simple traditional for loop to iterate over an array list. We will see how to use for each loop to iterate over an array list. We will see how to use iterator to iterate over an array list. We will see how to use iterator with Java 8 for each remaining method to iterate over an array list. And finally we will also see how to use Java 8 for each method with lambda expression to iterate over an array list. So let us begin with using simple for loop before that we should first create array list with some elements right so if you go to remove elements from array list example class over here so here we have already created array list with some elements so let me simply copy this piece of code and let me go to iterating over array list example class again and here let me paste it okay now we have array list class object with some elements next let us use these different ways to iterate over this array list class object. So let us begin with using simple for loop. So here just type for and then int i equal to 0. The index should start from 0. That's why i equal to 0. And then i less than programming languages dot size. And then i plus plus. Within a for loop, let's put the system dot println statement and let's pass programming languages. So this is the array list class object it has a get method and get method takes index as a parameter so here just pass i as a index so at index 0 get method returns element c at index 1 get method returns c plus plus so on and so forth okay next let's run the program and you can see the output c c plus plus java kotlin python perl you know ruby so this is how we can use a traditional simple for loop to iterate over our list object. Next, let us see how to use for each loop. So this is basically a hand for loop that takes, you know, collection and iterate over objects. For example, here, let's use for each loop for and then string object. Let's say language and then programming languages and then here let's put the system dot println and then pass language next let us run the program and you can see c c plus plus java kotlin python perl ruby so this is how we can use yana slab for loop to iterate over a array list so in order to di differentiate let me put the system dot println over here and let me simply pass this using for each loop like this and here also let me put the system dot println and let me pass using simple for loop string next let us run the program over here and here you can see using for each loop okay perfect next let us go ahead and let us see how to use iterator to iterate over a array list so here let, let me put the system dot println and let me simply print this using iterator string to the console so here just call array list class object that is programming languages it has a iterator method and notice here iterator method returns iterator of type string okay so just call this method and let us take the result of this iterator method in a iterator of type string and let's call it as iterator perfect next let us use iterator methods to iterate over a array list so here let's use while loop and then iterator dot has a next and then within a while loop let's put the system dot println and then iterator dot next perfect next let us run the program and you can see using iterator C, C, Java and so on. So this is how we can use 
iterator to iterate over an array list. Next, let us see how to iterate over an array list using iterator and Java 8 for each remaining method. So here, first of all, let's print this statement iterator and Java 8 for each remaining method. Alright, next let's create an iterator over here. Programming languages, it has an iterator. And then let's call for each remaining method. And notice here for each remaining method takes consumer as a functional interface and we have to provide the lambda expression to implement this consumer functional interface. So just call this method and let's use the lambda expression over here within a braces let's pass the element as a parameter and then lambda symbol and then within a lambda body just put the system dot print ln and then print this element okay perfect next let us run the program and let us see the output you can see here iterate and java 8 for each remaining method and these are the elements okay so this is how we can use iterate method with java 8 for each remaining method to iterate over an array list so instead of using while loop you can use for each remaining method next let us see how to use java 8 for each method with lambda expression so here just call array list class object it has for each method and notice here for each method takes consumer as a functional interface and we have to provide the lambda expression to implement this consumer functional interface so just call this for each method and here within a braces just pass the parameter as an element and then lambda symbol and within a curly braces just put the system dot print ln and then print this element it's pretty simple right so this is how we can use lambda expression to implement consumer functional interface next let's put the system dot print ln over here and just print java 8 for each and lambda expression perfect next let's run the program and notice here using java 8 for each method and lambda expression we have successfully iterated over an array list okay so basically developer prefer using this approach that is using java 8 for each method with lambda expression so this is the simplest way to iterate over an array list and most of the java developers uses this approach to iterate over an array list all right great in next lecture we'll see how to search an elements in a array list. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.